this flea market is freaking humongous. Like, holy crap. What is up, Internet? Retro here, and welcome back to another episode of Retro Hunting. So the majority of the collection that you guys see behind me, I've primarily gotten at garage sales, flea markets, thrift stores, anywhere that I can get stuff cheap because I love collecting the nostalgic pieces of my past, but I ain't paying the eBay prices, guys. And today we go to a humongous flea market. Guys, I was on a work trip, had about an hour to spare, topped in flea market, and this one popped up, and I'm telling you, it is it is huge, guys, but before we jump into that footage, if you do love all things 80s and 90s nostalgia from retro video games, movies, toys, and more, do me a favor and hit that freaking subscribe button. We have, we have new videos coming out every single week on Mondays and Thursdays, and I don't want you guys to miss them. Let's get into it. First off, uh, this flea market is freaking humongous. Like, holy crap. It's pretty, pretty big, man. All right, here we go. Bunch of 90s basketball cards, guys. Oh, I love basketball cards and baseball cards back in the day. Huge part of, of my childhood. I still haven't really done anything on the channel with cards yet, but uh, I will, I will soon. What do you know? Frickin' Beanie Babies. Hey, look, is that a Pumba? Yes. 350. I'm trying to get a gauge on how much stuff is gonna be here. Just a crap ton of plushes. Not for me. All right, I'm assuming like this is the good stuff that are in these cases. Let's see. Jewelry. So yeah, expensive stuff, but nothing that we're looking for. Here's some games. Let's see. Sports games that have no value. Exciting stuff. There's a clear Xbox controller. It's kind of cool. Troy Aikman. Again. Oh, so not as much into football stuff as basketball and baseball, but still, I remember. I remember the 90s in terms of football, man. Oh, that sign's pretty sweet. Look at that. Neon Mountain Dew, if that was older, totally would get that. We're missing booths over here because this place is so big. All right, DVDs, no games, Just Beetlejuice. I actually don't have this movie yet. I might pick that up because I don't have this yet. I just don't want to carry it the whole time. <laughs> okay, check this out. Mannequin. What year is this? What year are you? Am I missing it? I don't see it. I don't know. But there it is. Surprising. I thought we were going to find something in here. I don't really see much. I'm sure you guys are seeing something that I'm missing right now. But I take no offense when you guys tell me that I miss stuff. Because I do. Every time. Let's keep going. I am going to get Beetlejuice. I surprisingly don't have this on DVD. What do you know? More Hot Wheels. Is this just like a thing in the South? Like, do y'all's do flea markets have just crap tons of Hot Wheels stuff? I don't know. I feel like I'm seeing it more and more nowadays. Holy crap, guys. <laughs> a wall of DVDs. Jeez. I don't think I can go through all this stuff. I just don't got the time right now. But this is wild. I bet there's some good stuff in here. What is this? Bug Rangers. No idea. I just can't do it. I don't have the time right now. But that is a ton of movies and tools. I'm not gonna look at the, to the tools either. See, look, like this is this is manageable. These DVDs over here, I can quickly glance through these. Let's see what we got. <laughs> I'm really just looking for games. Any games? Oh, there is a game. Look at it, it's all smushed. How much is it? It literally doesn't say. I'm gonna ask on this, I guess. Cause this would be a good one to get. Let's see if it's scratched. Whoa. 
Um, I've never seen that before. It's like literally bent. That's wild. <laughs> Obviously gonna pass on that. Bummer. All right, not in the DVD mood today, other than my Beetlejuice. These books look interesting over here. Let's give them a look. It's an old Lion King book. I did have a ton of Disney books back in the day. Again, wasn't like a huge reader, but those were definitely ones that we had and read a lot. Onward, this place has like a little bit of everything, like rugs, furniture, DVDs. Ooh, I like this display case. That's pretty cool. It's like, oh, it's a gun. It's, a, it's for your guns, $100. Seems pretty good. Guys, we haven't even seen like probably 20% of this place yet. It's just row after row after row. But surprisingly, I haven't, haven't really found too much in terms of nostalgia yet. Maybe we'll get lucky. Yeah, it's just like kind of junky stuff. That's something. Safari photo shoot. I don't know. Interested in this stuff. Let's see. I also feel like I'm like skipping booths because there are so many. Like there's just a ton of pigs in this booth. Like look at all the pigs. It's all pig stuff. Someone like is unloading their picky collection. It's sad. All right, here are a lot more <laughs> DVDs. Man, I'm telling you, I bet there are some great DVDs in here to either keep for the collection or to flip. But I can't, I can't do it today, guys. I'm actually supposed to be someplace in like 30 minutes, so I'll probably end up being late. It's all, it's all for the flea markets. Look at this thing. What in the world? Oh, I remember these. These are like actual crane games. That's cool. Okay, I'm gonna go back this way, I think. I think I missed a bunch of booths over here. I just saw something. I gotta know what this thing is. Vintage McDonald's. I don't know what this is. It's like some promo thing. Expires 1989. This is interesting. I'm not really sure. Is it like a menu? Oh, it is. At least I think it is. Maybe this is a menu of coupons. I don't know. It looks pretty cool though. Not cool enough for me to get, but I knew I saw something McDonald's over here. Ooh. Purple Rain album. I bet somebody out there really wants this thing. Ten dollars. Doesn't seem bad. I don't know what Street Rotter is, but apparently some kind of magazine. Vintage literature. Here's some VHS. You guys remember this? McGee. McGee and me. This isn't something that I watch, but I hear people talk about it all the time whenever I'm scanning through things. They're like, dude, McGee and me, I watched that when I was a kid. Man, this place has plenty of DVDs. I haven't seen many games, but there are DVDs. Here's some classics. Son-in-law. Now and then. My wife loves this movie. Vintage Eminem, vintage Eminem figure. <laughs> you can tell it's all, look at the plastic, it's all gross and yellowed. It's like a newer Star Wars figure. This is cool. They're definitely reprint, like reprints, but they look like the old, oh gosh, sorry. <laughs> they look like the old posters you'd see, like hanging up in, I don't know, bars, restaurants. Letting you know that there is a it's gonna be a concert soon. It's pretty cool. The quality doesn't look great though, honestly. Kind of like blurred printing. Whoa, look at this. It's like a old carnival ride. 
I'm into like <laughs> American Pickers territory at this point. No touchy. All right, here are some toys, but like again, it's either new toys or like super vintage things. We're missing our era. Where's the 80s and the 90s stuff? There's another one of these. What? I don't feel like I've ever even seen one of those before. There's another one. Whoa. You guys ever have a light up, light up drawing desk? I feel like I had one at one point. Yes. Now this is our era. Here is a dare plush. Dare to resist drugs and violence. I get angry just thinking about it makes me mad. Little kids doing drugs, it turns my stomach. That's right. If there's any kids out there watching this, I agree with that. All right. Whoa, look at all the Simbas up there. I'll give them a look here in a minute. Hey, here's some games. Lizzie McGuire, the game. Britney Spears, the game. Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen, the game. This is... This is a 90s girl's dream right here. Donkey Kong Country 2, 15. That's probably not terrible. Probably right in line with pricing. Let's see what else we got in here. This looks a little bit more like our kind of booth. It's only taking us 50 booths to get here. Here's a bunch of games. Pen 10, Pictionary, Rock Band. These are all PS2 games. Like, let's see how much Underground is. It should be, it should be no more than four. Seven. <sighs> Dang it. Not for us guys. Let's keep looking. Maybe we'll find something in here. Some more games. Prince of Persia for 10. Yeah. Dang it. It stinks, but I get it. He's trying to make money too. I just feel like if you're going to ask eBay prices, just list it on eBay. You know? Just put it on eBay. Some Cabbage Patch. A ton of... Lion King plushes. Strike. Strike out again. All right, we'll keep going. Play a peewee. I've actually been looking for a peewee out of the box. Because I want to display him. That's fine. This is good. Because I have one boxed. But it's just different, man. Being able to display one out of the box on the shelf. So we're gonna get this Pee Wee. We found something! Oh, look at this Elmo. I like what he's wearing. Elmo, I would wear that. Let's trade Z right now. It's a great booth right here. Hmm. What do they have? Like literally, this someone's paying for this. And they got some Valentine's cards. What? I don't know. I know I keep talking about it too. I really do want to get a booth and start reselling some of my extra stuff just because it's getting getting pretty wild and my wife is like, get this stuff off the dining room table. That's exactly how she sounds. Just kidding. If you're watching, babe, I love you so much. Here is a boxed hunchback Quasimodo figure. I feel like we, we see quite a few hunchback of Notre Dame stuff, like from the mid to late 90s not th that was definitely not one of my favorite disney movies back then but it wasn't bad what is this see look this is what people are doing their price 24 we will sell it to you for 10 but here's the thing free shipping and they have to pay ebay it's like what are you doing like just put it on ebay then whoa so many sealed shreks this is a weird booth to me i need i need to get out of here I got hot sauce and sealed Shrek DVDs and Quasimodos. I'm good. Ooh, look at this wizard. He's pretty cool looking. I just don't think I'm ever gonna get into plushes. It's like, where do you display them? Unless someone can show me how to display plushes cleanly, organized, I'm just not gonna do it. The room is already starting to feel quite cluttered. This is how my my game room feels. Just stuff all over the place. But these are the booths that you actually find good deals in because most people don't want to hunt through it. Hmm. Old blockbuster case. I mean, it's just like on the ground. Like, look at this. What in the world? 
they haven't been to this booth in a year to clean up. Those old Beatles, some old Beatles records. All right, gotta get out of, gotta get out of here too. Don't like how this is making me feel in here. Oh man, just seeing these brings me back. Burnt discs. Many hours on Napster, downloading my favorite Linkin Park songs. <laughs> I wanna hear more cabbage patch is there a market for these like any girls out there that potentially are watching i i just don't see them have value but i could be totally wrong oh here's something a little marvin the martian he looks somewhat older but also real dirty and gross i think we've already looked through this one yeah when we first walked in you care if I'll leave this up here with you while I keep looking? Sure. Okay. Back on the grind. Back on the grind. More Beanie Babies. Oh, maybe these are different. Hard Rock Cafe. I, don't, I think that is different, but I wouldn't have put it. Wouldn't have put it past Thai Beanie Babies to partner with. To partner with restaurants and stuff like that. Here's a bunch of cards. '90s baseball cards are notorious for having little to no value. Every once in a while, you'll find you'll find a gem. This is kid stuff. Here is an old Peanuts lunchbox. Let's get this guy down. You know they're you know they're older when they're ten, but they're usually pretty beat up. Thirty five dollars. I'm gonna pass on that, just like I pass on drugs. Remember, kids? Just stick to finding nostalgia, son. I do see a booth right there. There, there might be some stuff in there. Let's go through this one real quick, though. Oh, finally, guys. I've been looking for the perfect bacon bowl. That's actually not a bad idea. A buck 25? Hmm. Make me a bowl of, a bacon bowl of eggs? I'm into that. All right, let's get over here. An X-Men figure. Giant Man series. Let's see. Let's see how much this guy is. In what year? 2006. It's not super old, and oh, here's the price. 25. Is that Young Indiana Jones right there? I just sold that DVD set, but. Whoa, guys, check this out. Check this out. You guys remember these? It was like a blow pop sucker thing, and it would like spin. Look at it. He's dying. <laughs> it's killing him. Dude, this just hit me hard. I forgot completely all about those. And that it, it's just nasty though. It's, uh, there is, I think, a cassette. Phantom Menace on cassette, dude. Are you kidding me? He he was okay on this, but I think he was better in uh, Jingle All the Way. And here are the same Disney Mickey Mouse glasses we see all over the place. All right, here is something. This definitely looks definitely looks 90s to me. If I don't break it. Bendums, Star Wars, Princess Leia. If this was any other figure, if this was a Stormtrooper, C C3PO, C any of them, I probably would have got it. I just, yeah, I don't really care. Five dollars though, not horrible. Whoa, dude! Look at all like the the crossovers with these Star Wars toys. This is a Star Wars Koosh ball. That's crazy. <laughs> oh man, that's cool. Koosh balls. Why were those even like? Why were those cool? They weren't fun. You didn't do anything with them, but we all wanted them. Look at that. Oh, you paint him. This is cool. Five is it five dollars? Huh. That's pretty interesting too. I always think when I see so many like things that are connected, I genuinely wonder if they bought, you know an estate sale or something and it was all together it had to be how do you how do you put together a star wars koosh ball the paint thing and then the sucker toy as well there's no way it had to all be together all right bummer that one looked very promising but she didn't have what we wanted or i guess what i wanted hey 
We found some old McDonald's toys. Oh, I like this one. <laughs> it is the Mighty Ducks animated series, and it's a puck. That's cool. Oh my gosh, and these two guys, do you remember these? McDonald's toys, it looks like the VHS clamshell. Eight Disney Masterpiece Collection characters in their own mini video boxes. I like Alice in Wonderland. I like McDonald's fries. One in each $1.99 hamburger Happy Meal you buy your kids. Here's another one. The Black Cauldron. Here it is. Some fries and a burger and a drink. <laughs> That's cool. Whoa, I really like this camera. The way it looks, it's on that tripod and it's looking all mid-century modern cool looking. I just love that font too. We're definitely seeing a lot of cool things, but the things we're seeing aren't the things that I want to see. More M&M stuff, goodness gracious. Here are just a whole bin of Star Trek toys from the 90s sealed. I could be wrong, but I feel like Star Trek stuff is not worth anything. But I see something that I would want or I could want. It's another cone head situation. Y'all. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. Look at this figure. Oh my gosh. We just found uh, the Coneheads comic recently. And here we are with a Coneheads figure. Dang. I think I want this too. Oh, I wish it wasn't all jacked up there. Guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna think on this. I'm gonna think on this. <laughs> here's the thing. <laughs> if I put this back, there's no way no one ever, anyone else is gonna get this. Well, here's another one. There's both of them. So you can get uh what's her name? I forgot her name. <laughs> Connie. So there's both of them. I wish the artwork isn't or the actual packaging wasn't so so messed up. 15 does seem a bit high. Watch these things be worth like tons. I'm filming with my phone, so I can't, I can't look and film at the same time, unfortunately. Oh, that's crazy though. We just got that Coneheads comic book. Oh man, y'all, Sports Illustrated for kids. Oh my gosh. Give your kids a subscription to Sports Illustrated for Kids, the magazine girls and boys are raving about. I gave my kids Sports Illustrated for Kids and they fought over it. It's Joan Howard. I wonder if the cards are in here. There's usually cards. Come on, be in here. There's Penny, George Mirashon. Oh, I think the cards are in here. It feels like it. There's a poster. All right, how much is this? This is definitely something I would, I would want. I'm gonna tell them what booth this is, because I want this. I don't ever see Sports Illustrated for kids. All right, we'll go, we'll go check on this. Yeah. The old elf toy. Five bucks, way too much. At least in my opinion, it's too much. Whoa. Look at this huge stormtrooper. He's pretty cool. He's also fracking $200. But he's cool looking. Maybe that's the thumbnail. Let me back up. Maybe not. <laughs> the two things I'm thinking about still are the conehead figures and the bacon bowl thing. Dollar <laughs> twenty-five, man! Come on, I could have my eggs every morning in a bacon ball. <sighs> Shoot, live my best life. All right, we are wrapping up. If I don't find anything here in the next two or three booths. I'll see you guys back in the game room for the wrap up. All right, guys, let's get into these pickups. Uh, a couple bummers. The first one is that Sports Illustrated for Kids. So it did not belong in, in that booth and it didn't have a tag on it. So they didn't know who it belonged to, so they couldn't sell it to me. I'm like, really, man, I thought that was gonna be so fun uh, to be able to, to just kind of go through with you guys and look through and they're like, yeah, we, we can't sell it to you. So that was a bummer. And then the Coneheads figures I did not end up getting because they really were priced at like eBay prices. And again, that's kind of the whole point is I generally don't want to pay the eBay price and they weren't quite cool enough uh, to pick up for, I think there were 15 each, but kind of crazy because we recently found the Coneheads 
the Coneheads um, comic book. So that was pretty crazy. So the first thing we picked up is this DVD. Now, surprisingly, I did not have this uh, in my collection. Uh, I do have the VHS, but I did not have this. One of my favorite movies from back in the day. It, it is not. It is not October. It is not Halloween until I watch Beetlejuice. And then the only other thing that we picked up was this Pee Wee doll. Now, yes, I have a Pee Wee right over there in the box, but there's just something a little bit different about displaying him out of the box, letting him breathe a little bit, right? Uh, and, and I'm gonna put him up on one of the shelves. Uh, there are all kinds of Pee Wee figures and toys, and I just don't ever see them, but I thought, I thought for 20 bucks was a really good deal on this. Now, his, uh, his pull string is broken, but most of the times those those don't even work anyway. So that that didn't really bother me. And for only 20 bucks, I thought that was uh, I thought that was a pretty good deal. This was just kind of a weird flea market. It was it was a huge flea market with tons of stuff, but there wasn't really a lot of the stuff that I like, which was surprising. You're talking booth after booth. You would think one, two, or or three would have would have more of the stuff that I like. But regardless, we got Beetlejuice on DVD and we got Pee Wee guys. As always, thank you guys for hanging out for watching the video. If you would like the video, subscribe if you have not already. And until next time, peace.